Hi guys, welcome to another video. I have just come back from London. So I thought I would show you all the things that I got up to while I was there. I thought I would do a little bit of a sit down video and I'll insert some footage um, of the vlogging that I did. So let's get going. Different start this morning because I am in London. I am so excited, I need to contain myself. I am here for a very special weekend. I'm sure if you've watched some of the videos of mine and some of the other fabulous YouTubers, you will know that there is a little bit of a get together happening this weekend. So come along with me for that. I'm gonna introduce you to all those wonderful, wonderful people. So this, this weekend is gonna be shopping, eating, drinking, shopping, walking, eating, drinking, shopping. It's going to be fabulous. So come along with me. So on day one, I might have run into a certain person. Who do you think it is? So guys, look who I have just bumped Hi. into. I think you all know who this fabulous <laughs> lady is. And look what she, honestly, her outfit today is insane. What do we think? What do we think, Amelia, of the bag? I'm keep this. I think I'll just keep this little, very edgy, cool, black and silver side trunk from Newton. I think it, it goes well. I think it really suits you. I think I you think do need you one in your life. I would be very... <laughs> <laughs> but I have something very, very special in my hands. Just a second, guys. So, guys, just look at this. I've pinched this from Amelia. Amelia, you know you're not getting this back, don't you? It was right to you. This is not the best mirror. Is not helping we us. need to find a better one. No, However, we do. We do. guys, just have a look. Oh my goodness. Colour, colour, colour needs to come into my life. So as you can see there, Amelia and I were staying at the same hotel. So off we went and we decided we were going to do a bit of a recce. We knew we were going to a Fendi event on the following day at Selfridges so we wanted a little bit of a recce beforehand so that we knew what we wanted to look at so we went off to Bond Street reasonably early in the morning and we had a look at a few things so I'll talk you through some of this as I'll put the footage up so we looked at the beautiful beautiful new pink that's come out it's like a fuchsia pink oh my goodness even me as a non-pink lover even I love this colour it's so versatile it's so beautiful so we had a look at the baguette in the i think it was the mini size it was the mini size in the leather we then had a look at the sequined baguette in the mini and the regular size and oh my goodness <laughs> they're absolutely beautiful i actually fell in love with the mini size of the baguette i surprised myself so have a look at this i tried on the pink one which you'll see here I don't think I can get another pink bag, not right now. It's not a colour that I'm going to have loads and loads of in my wardrobe, I don't think. And I have my mini Alexa and I love that bag. So I did ask, what else have you got? What else have you got? And there was, I think they had a white, they had a black. They had so many different variations of the fabric and the zucker print. And yeah, there was a few, a few options. Did any of them stand out? Hmm, maybe, maybe not. And then, then, somebody suggested trying on the midi size. Now, the midi, the bag itself is a fantastic size. And they found this beautiful, it's just right on my street, isn't it? It's sort of a bluey grey colour. Yeah, not very bright. I said to them, I want something bright. A pop of colour. No, I ended up, I ended up looking at this one and... Yeah, it was a definite, a definite contender. What do you guys think? Then I left Amelia at the front of the store while I went to check out the shoes because I wanted to check out the Calibri shoes. Finally, get my hands on them. And who did I bump into? Who was sat at the back of the store enjoying some champagne? See you this. <laughs> Dale Meredith, say hello. <laughs> Dale and Meredith, Dale and Meredith were in the store and I could not believe it. Yeah, we had such a great time. So we met them properly and we had a giggle. We all had some champagne. It was wonderful. 
So we spent a long time, <laughs> a long time in Fendi. But yeah, have a look at this. There might be a Fendi unboxing coming. So stay tuned for that. We then moved down the road. <laughs> I was going to say a few yards, maybe a hundred yards or something, and we found ourselves in Dior. We ended up being in Dior for so long. Now, yeah, Josh, you're amazing. You are amazing. I've talked about Josh before. He is incredible. And I did feel, Josh, I did feel like I was cheating on Susie with you. So Susie, if you are watching this, forgive me. Forgive me, but I was in London. I got carried away. I wanted to look at, so I started off with a 9522. Have a look at some of this footage. They actually had a few different ones in store, and I wanted to get my hands on this green one. Now, I have to say, the green wasn't as bright as I expected it to be online on the photos, and I think on Dior's Instagram. And when I've seen it in photos, it looks like an emerald green, like quite a like quite a rich bright green and it's more muted than that in real life it's beautiful it's beautiful it's just not what i expected it was a beautiful little handheld bag and it has a, a crossbody strap with it and the handles turn in and they also turn out and they go flush with the bag hallelujah so yeah i loved it downside of it well two downsides to the 9522 three three downsides so the first downside is it's heavy. Even the small one, I've tried it on before, but only in the bigger sizes and they were heavy. And I thought the mini and the small size would be better. They're still heavy. They feel heavy. The second, the second downside is the price is so expensive. They are so expensive. And the third downside is I really liked the burgundy color or the green color. I didn't want another black. I just didn't want another black. He then came back and said, I can get you a green in the smaller size. Quandary. So there was dilemma number one. I then tried on the Toujours bag and I got so excited with myself that I forgot to take any footage of it. I was in the moment. I was enjoying myself. I was looking at all the different sizes. And I didn't take any photos. <laughs> I took some photos of it on the shelf before I tried it on. But all of the, I tried it on loads of times, looked in the mirror. I didn't take one photo of it. So I'm really annoyed with myself. So apologies for that. However, yeah, I decided that the medium size was actually a really good size. But I just like big bags. I think if you're going, I think it's like, it's like the Neverfull. If you're going for a big tote bag just go for the big one the medium size look a bit in between size so <laughs> the only footage i did get this was amazing was josh offered to, <laughs> to model this for me and he showed me how he would wear it so have a look at this <laughs> so it looks amazing doesn't it i think he was trying to say to me i also need a trench coat and i've got the look and everything else I was very tempted. Now, they only had the large size in this. I think it's called like latte or it's like a creamy ivory colour and it is beautiful. That bag, I think for the money as well, it's a really, really beautiful bag. It feels quality. It, it looked amazing. I have no idea when I'd use it. So anyway, that was the second dilemma. But I was loving that as well. And then I got my hands on the Cairo bag properly and I looked at all the different sizes the different versions the different colors and you know I love it I do love it have a look at this one this this is like a beautiful gray and you know I love a gray I love a gray so yeah this was a real contender not as fancy as the 9522 not as slouchy and big and there's not as much to it as the Tajore bag but as an everyday bag that actually could be an evening bag as well with a beautiful chain with the gold hardware against the grey. You can double it up. You can fit a decent amount in it. It'd be a good bag to take away with you. It's carefree. I really liked it. So there was my dilemma number three. And we were on a recce day. So, so bear in mind that we weren't supposed to be buying this day. Anyway, off we toddled across the road and we went to see James. 
well. Honestly, I can't tell you how long we were in there. We were in the three stores of Fendi, Dior and LV, all on Bond Street, all within a stone's throw of each other all day. That's all we did. We had a great time. We had a great time. Anyway, so in LV, the ones I wanted to look at, I wanted to look at the Alma in the navy blue, in the padded malatage, um, like the padded quilted Alma. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I also wanted to try on, for reference, the bigger size of this same bag in the PM. I think it was a PM. It might have even been the MM. It was huge. It was huge. I have no idea when you'd use that. It doesn't have a shoulder strap. I think if I was still at work and I was going to a really important meeting and I could have that as my bag and on the desk and I mean business. Yeah, but I don't work anymore. So, yes, it's beautiful, but that size was too big. I then tried on the Alma in the epi leather in the BB size in the navy. Oh, so yeah. Exactly Compare it to the Malatage version. It's beautiful and the price difference, it's less than half the price. Now, it isn't as beautiful leather, it isn't, but it's indestructible. So the Epi is, oh, honestly, this will be such a carefree bag. Oh, I decided there and then I definitely needed something in Epi leather in my world. So that was another dilemma. Which one do I go for? Double the price, but the quality and the padded leather and beautiful, beautiful bag. Or do I save my money and go for something indestructible, but still nice and still the beautiful navy blue? Then I tried on the Cousin. I think it's the Cousin bag. And I've been wanting to try this bag for such a long time. And I've stayed away from it because I thought it was so expensive. But it is expensive. But, oh my goodness, when I tried this one on, I was blown away. The quality of it and how it fits to your body. It's light, it's comfortable, it's easy, it's stylish. It's got the chain so you can make it into a little shoulder bag, like an evening bag. I was really surprised how much I liked that. I also had a look at some other items like the Capucines, because of course we all love the Capucines. And I was looking at all the BB sizes. So I have a look at this. This black one with the mother of pearl. Stunning. This emerald green one in the ostrich leather. Stunning. And while I was there, I was, James, I need to see the Go One Four. I need to get my hands on it. So have a look at this. It's beautiful. I thought I would pick it up and think, yeah, it's okay. No, it's beautiful. It's so expensive. I still don't really understand why it's so much more expensive than the Alma version still in the Malatage. I don't really, I can't see the price difference in my own head. The twist lock is amazing. It sits beautiful on the body. It's got the top handle. It's a beautiful bag. It's not that big. It's so padded that the inside space is actually quite small. So that was the end of day, the full day one. If day like. two was our meetup. So we went to Fendi at Selfridges. So this is where you're going to see all my wonderful, wonderful YouTube friends who are now, honestly, I can't even tell you, we had the best time, an absolute blast. So yeah, honestly, I've got no words. It was so amazing. Fendi at Selfridges could not have been more wonderful. The customer service we've had all this weekend has been incredible at all the fashion houses apart from one, but we'll we'll come on to that. That's a whole separate video. Um so yeah, it's been incredible. So I'm going to I'm going to tell you all about our meetup in a separate video because there's lots to tell you. So yeah, let's move on to day Really? So day three started off with me going to Hermes and trying to redo my wish list. Now, I am going to do a whole separate video on this. So I did a video quite some time ago and it was explaining how I managed to get quite a few Hermes bags without 
having to spend a fortune and with virtually no purchase history whatsoever. So go check that one out. I've also done a video since then talking about what I want to put on my wish list and how the wish list system goes. And I, I grouped that in with my actual Hermes collection. And in that one, I said I would document if I managed to find finally get an appointment to redo my wish list. And I would try and yeah, just tell you all about it. So I did manage to go. So I'm going to do a separate video to explain all of that, because, again, that is a whole thing on its own. So that happened um, on day three. And then I met everybody else and off we went back to Louis Vuitton. So James was there and he had all of us descending on him and he was incredible. Honestly, James, if you are watching this, you know you are incredible and thank you for looking after us so much. So James spent so much time with us. He, he was incredible. He showed us the apartment upstairs. They're just beautiful. So, yeah, we had a great time. Um, James, you're great. You really, really are. And then day four was me heading home. But before I did head home, I had to nip back to Louis Vuitton to collect something. And I also nipped into Loewe because I wanted to see the beautiful new squeeze bag. And yeah, my previous video explains all of that. So I will link that up here. Anyway, that is just a little taster of what we got up to in London. There is more footage to come. I'm going to explain all about our meetup and everything else. But for now, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see my previous video, which is the one where I explain what happened in Loewe and also how I managed to break all my rules in one go all over that weekend, I'm going to put that video here. So go and have a look at that one because it is quite funny. And yeah, it's also not very funny. Massive haul coming. That's all I'm saying. Guess down below what you think I might have got. See you on the next one.